ओके फ्रेंड्स सो दिस इज अवर सेकेंड वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू लोड द ब्रश विथ टू कलर्स हियर आई एम यूजिंग फोकाट कलर यू कैन यूज वन लाइट कलर एंड वन डार्क कलर एंड दिस इज थ्री बाई फोर Four cut brush from plate. I'm taking a little bit of light, uh, dark color. That's blue here, and little bit of light. Don't take uh, more color. You can always pour colors as and when needed because acrylic color tend to dry very fast. so you will be wasting your color okay once you take your colors how you will start loading your brush so this is your brush what you will do is i am just dipping my brush in water and i will just press it gently on my tissue so that i just get rid of the excess water the water should not be dripping from your brush but you don't have to press it hard or take all the moisture uh, moisture out of your brush because we need our brush to be moist enough so that the color loading process is smooth now what i have done is i have picked two colors on either side of my brush and gently load your brush the same way i do just moving it to and fro okay here when you do this um you have to apply a gentle pressure while doing this i am not just moving my brush but i am simultaneously applying pressure on my brush because that is the only way you can get the color nicely loaded inside your brush this is the reason why we call this as color loading because here you are loading your brush with the colors okay initially what will happen is your colors will start to mix and that's totally normal because your hands are not very steady and this is completely new thing you are doing so what happens is your your brush will tend to move towards the pink so or the pink will tend to move towards the blue so either you will be placing your brush this way or this way and that's not intentionally that will happen uh, due to the lack of practice so once you start doing this and you start practicing well your colors won't mix but don't expect um that to happen within a short period of time that will surely take a lot of time and sometimes you will also um, by mistake place the blue side over the lighter color or vice versa i mean you will, you may switch the colors in the brush and place it in a wrong way and it's all going to happen so please be careful and be present and keep your hands steady and once if you feel that your colors are mixing and uh, it's no longer the same color you have taken like it had started mixing so you can what you can do is you can i'll show you see this way it may happen so this is called mixing so you are not able to maintain the proper gradient so what you can do is you don't have to wash your brush just wipe it this way and take fresh color on your brush change the place and again start loading now you need to do it a lot of time just dedicate some time to learn loading your brush because only the proper way of loading will help you to get the 
um, desired color effect you want to you, you want in your painting if your brush is not loaded properly you won't get those beautiful light and dark shades in your work so initially it will be like few times you have to load your brush uh, until your brush gets soft and fully loaded with color but later once you start painting you just have to pick color once and just a quick move is enough pick it and quick move pick it and load it quickly this is what you do how you will check if your brush is properly loaded make a line this way so you should get the both the colors evenly on your brush okay uh, normally for one stroke painting they use uh, floating medium uh, and those floating mediums are of the same brand like you get um, like acrylic colors like four cut floating mediums are available so uh, what i uh, what i say is you just don't go for the floating mediums because uh, little bit of water uh, just take a, a very tiny bit of water in your brush and load your brush again this way if you feel it's dry because what happens is that uh, um, floating medium also makes your color transparent not even uh, floating medium even water makes your color transparent so it should be very 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 little water as you touch your brush in color the same way you have to touch your brush in water this this is the way you touch the uh, water and then you can come again and load your brush so the brush loading is a very important factor in one stroke painting and i would like uh, you to practice this every day for a while so that your colors don't tend to mix color mixing is ultimately loss of color and you have to take more and more colors uh, every time so better you maintain a neat loading uh, space so that you don't have to cut frequently change the loading space and your colors don't get wasted so hope this video is helpful for you um, so learn to load your brush well and in next video i will see you with another video bye